Man, what a beautiful day. Really, what a beautiful day. It's hard to believe everything that is going on when you look into the sky and you see such a beautiful day. But as you guys know, it's going crazy right now. People are losing their jobs. People don't have a way to provide. The, the cases of coronavirus continue to increase. I mean, it's insane. So I don't know what you guys believe. I don't know how you guys roll. But if you're a believer, definitely join me in prayer. We're going to pray for our country. We're going to pray for people's life. We're going to pray for people to reestablish back into their job, into whatever they do, back to normal in the old glory name of Jesus. And that's just how it's going to go. I got to tell you, we're going to survive this because we are Americans. And as American, we are survivors. We are winners. So, again, you know, it, it it kind of sucks what's going on, but it's just, it's just a life. It always happened, but it's crazy because as you see how beautiful the day is, you don't even, I don't even think, like, I'm like, wow, I can't believe this is going on. The, the day is so gorgeous, right? But I wanted to talk about this because people are getting wrapped up around the concept of this quarantine, and there's so much communication and so much negativity and I'm trying to stay away from negativity I really do you know I understand that some of you guys may have like a, an order that you guys can't leave the house and things like that you know some of you guys are being affected monetarily and I'm gonna tell you I'm one of those guys you know really it made a it made a big dent in my finances so I'm tracking you know even now for work I still have work but now we're going into a different rotation and primarily we're doing that in order to keep people safe you know kind of like not have everybody together at the same time but it has cost me you know financially it has affected my family the good thing is that a lot of companies out there are allowing you to defer your payments. I just saw this with my car payment, you know. I was able to pick, actually I didn't do it, bless the good Lord, I was able to pay my bill. But there was a choice there that you could defer your payment like 120 days. So that's amazing, you know, kudos for, for companies that are trying to help. You know, they don't have to do that. You sign a contract, they could tell you, give me your money or you lose your car. But there's some companies out there trying to help. And that is amazing. And I really, you know, we all appreciate that. So again, you know, there's a lot of issues, a lot of negativity. One of the biggest one is going to be the fact that many people are complaining and saying that the government telling you to stay in your house is violating your rights. They're not allowed to do that. And to me, you know, I don't really have a saying on that. I guess I have to do a lot of more research on that or whatever. I really don't know. But what I really think that they're trying to do is to protect the communities. And obviously, by telling you to stay home and minimize contact with each other, again, you know, it may stop contamination and things like that. So I don't think the government is violating your rights trust me I, I i do a lot of uh i'm one of those guys that you know i've criticized the government a lot i think in this case they're just trying to minimize the the touch the the, the cross contamination between people and that's why they're doing things like that i think we need to apply common sense sometimes common sense is the best thing that you could think about and common sense tells me right now that they're trying to protect the community not really violating your rights but you may have a different opinion definitely put it down in the comment section below so again as as people flipped out about this quarantine i'm gonna tell you I, i'm taking advantage of it i really am so like i said a lot of people are complaining about this but you know there's a couple things that you can do to really help you during this time one thing that i'm gonna tell you right now that, that i done in the last couple couple of days is rest and again you know life is so busy i got a wife i got three kids it's hard for me to rest you know it's hard for me to sleep thanks to the to to the military probably <laughs> we're not gonna get into that now but again you know getting a good night's sleep being able to sleep the best you know uh, as good as you can being able to rest being able to get your body to take a break 
to me that is just fantastic and to me that's just amazing and good so take advantage of this time with you all and rest because i tell you what when when life comes back when everything gets uh back to normal I, I don't know about you guys but i'm gonna be working and you know it's good to take a break it's good to rest the other thing that i've been doing a lot is spending time with the family and you know i just been there at home with the family, we, we cooked some good meals. You know, just yesterday we did, uh, or the day before, we did some pork. It was amazing. We cooked some rice and beans. I mean, that, that to me, that's like gold. And it was just great, you know. So spending some good quality time with the family is fantastic. We bought a $25 pool and uh, we put it in the back. It's a crappy little pool. We put some water on it. Man, little Manny is having a blast. A blast in the pool so again you know you're spending a little bit of time together to me that's amazing it's fantastic and, and again it builds that relationship I mean people are home you know people are home so might as well spend some time together because like I said you know life is about to get busy and that's the thing about this uh, right now a lot of people say well you know it, it's so boring man life is so busy take a little bit of boring every now and then it's okay to be boring you know so again you know i've been sleeping i've been resting i've been spending time with the family and the last thing that i need to do in the next couple of days is do some things around the house you know a couple of days ago i went to lowe's and i'm gonna tell you it was crazy lowe's was packed but i got some light bulbs i replaced all the, the light bulbs that were out in the house and i also bought some screws and tied up all the cabinets door uh, they were kind of loose a little bit and then the hole was like kind of like the screws that I have they weren't thick enough so I bought thicker uh, screws and I put them there so I fixed my kitchen fix my kitchen change the light bulbs today I want to work in uh, a room that is a mess that I need to clean up a little bit I'm gonna work on that hopefully I work in my garage I did got some trash bags to be able to do that so again you know take advantage of this time I try to stay away from people that are always complaining. The negativity is killing me. And to me, negativity just sucks, man. Speak life. Speak life. I'm going to say it again. Speak life into your life. Don't speak negativity into your life, you know. And obviously, again, I know some people can't do it because the, the laws and all that. Right now here in the city, they're recommending to stay home, voluntary, as far as I know, unless you have to go to the store and pick up some stuff and things like that, then you could go out. But again, as far as I know, it's still a, a volunteer uh, kind of progress. But again, you know, apply common sense, you know, like I told my wife yesterday, there's no need for us to go to the park. We wanted to go to the park with the kids. I was like, let's stay home, you know, let's do a, a walk around our house let's walk outside we got manny a little scooter let's walk outside and then he could ride the scooter in our driveway versus actually going to the park because you know let's apply some common sense right now they're asking us to stay home so if we can stay home let's stay home as much as we can in order to you know to help with the process so again you know Here's the thing, guys. I appreciate you guys' support. I appreciate you guys watching my videos. I know there's a lot of complications out there. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying this is going to be an easy one. It's going to be difficult. But let's try to make the best we can out of this one. I appreciate you guys watching. And as always, God is in control.